Alright, so I'm doing a challenge trying to platinum every single game inside of the Ubisoft Plus game catalog on PlayStation. And if I can't do it before we hit 690,000 subscribers on YouTube, then I have to tattoo the platinum logo somewhere on my body. So make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Alright, so today we're back with the final Assassin's Creed game in this challenge, and I officially hate Assassin's Creed even more than I did before because of this game. Assassin's Creed Unity, the fall-off game after Black Flag as they call it, and it's understandably so. There is a total of 51 trophies inside of unity and a couple are impossible now in 2024 which i was not aware of before making this video so that's just great but for once an assassin's creed game actually has multiple different stages aside from the generic beat story and cleanup like usual the first stage though is still to just beat the main story so i guess not that different after all unity first had us play in some ancient medieval timeline which was the beginning of the story or rather plot for the items we are later after in this game this whole intro sequence though was very odd and i'm still confused as why they started off here but after we witnessed some old dude just get burned alive with Lord Farquaad right here, you actually do get a trophy from it, so that's cool. We then play as the main character of the game, but when he was a child, as if this game's intro couldn't get any worse. Thankfully, this time in the story setting stage of the game, it actually did set up some logical and easy to understand direction. Basically, our boy here got brought to some meeting with his father, and then his father was assassinated pretty much right in front of him. Villain origin story if I've ever seen one. The game then finally opens up in the place we will actually be spending time in. France. F so yeah, this game takes place in France and the main character isn't an assassin, just a troublemaker. I feel like I've seen this same plotline in a different Assassin's Creed game, but it's whatever. We got chased by some men for quite some time before making it back to the crib and getting saved by daddy. The crib, by the way, is actually just some rich dude's house that we've been crashing at ever since our real father died. How tragic. Anyways, this first sequence of the game was centered around us trying to find some girl that we have a huge crush on who was in town. And we ended up getting all fitted out in a crazy professional outfit for some party that we are not invited to, which is why we had to parkour in a true classic. Ultimately though, we would end up finding the baddie in the midst of a crowd and then chasing her around because they like to play hard to get. But once we caught up to her, Lord have mercy. It's like if the Spider-Man developers didn't nerf MJ in Spider-Man 2, but just made her better. However, they definitely nerfed her, but I'm not trying to throw a stray right now. So next we had to leave the party because we got what we came for, if you know what I mean. Sadly, on the way out, we literally witnessed her dad get assassinated right in front of us, and the natural reaction is to run and help, so we did. But that also made us look like we killed him, and then we got arrested for it. But I did get a trophy. The next sequence was then all in prison, and we actually met some dude who was an assassin in here. What a coincidence, I know. Also, it's been a few minutes now, so I'm gonna real fast complain like a baby about this game's combat. It's complete and utter shit. The story is actually decent, but somehow they made this game's combat and overall gameplay just balls. And if you couldn't guess, yes, we did escape the prison, and in a very assassin fashion, if you will. Also, we then got brought to the assassin's compound underground, which is low-key dope as hell. And naturally, we would then get initiated into the Brotherhood, with a lot of drug trips on the way. So after that, we are officially a part of the Brotherhood, and that was it for Sequence 2, so here is that trophy. Sequence 3 then gave us our first assassination target, and he was so conveniently put inside of the famous Notre Dame Cathedral. This mission, by the way, took me an hour to do because of the optional objectives which are required for the platinum and are some of the most annoying I've ever had to do. This place is by no means easy to stay hidden in, but what makes it even worse is that you have to get kills from hiding spots, which can only be done inside of little dressing rooms or whatever these are called. It's just AIDS. Anyways, you actually assassinate the guy easiest within one of them, as a matter of fact, when he enters to confess his sins to us. Ain't nobody got time for that book, so I just stabbed him right in the ear. GG, well played. I then had to escape the place as well, and I got lost. Shockingly, it's somehow more confusing underground of the cathedral than above it. But once I made it out, I finished the sequence and got this trophy. I then got bored of the story because I despise Assassin's Creed games with pretty much everything in me. I just hate them, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I stopped playing the story and just ran around syncing up every viewpoint so I could recharge my brain cells in preparation for the rest of this balls game. And once I did that, I got a trophy for getting all viewpoints. During the next sequence I did, I also managed to get 10 air kills total inside of Assassin's Creed Unity, which is a trophy. The next sequence then had us after another assassination target, and it was inside of the damn sewers of France. Now, French people on normal circumstances of land are annoying as hell, so these below ground ones were extra difficult to deal with. Eventually, though, I did reach the target of ours, and we took him out getting another one of those kill recap scenes where they talk about the bad things they did, and then clue us onto an even more sinister plot behind the scenes. Once I escaped, I also then went over and talked to the dude that sent me down there, and it was some French pimp, basically. I mean, this guy knows how to party and take down absolute fives so he must be a pimp. But yeah, here's that sequence's trophy. During the next sequence, almost right away, I had an objective that left me killing the 
bugs, and I also had to lockpick a door to get further inside of his building. But once I did, that managed to be the fifth door I lockpicked total, and I also got a trophy from that. This sequence also had an absolutely insane mission where we were just investigating some stuff, and then the entire place all of a sudden caught on fire, and we had to run to escape it before it exploded. Now, this is what I like to call a diamond in the rough mission for an Assassin's Creed game. Everyone has that single moment where you're like, wow, this game could actually be fun. And then it gets ruined by the next mission just having you wait in a haystack. I did manage to sabotage five alarm bells here though because it was a side objective and I had been trying to get those done as we progressed. This sequence's side objectives though were extra hard as we came up on our assassination targets and I spent a good half hour at the very ending of it trying to get them done. And because I spent so long here retrying over and over I managed to actually sort of just farm assassination kills and I got to 100 getting me this trophy. I also did finally assassinate the real dude we were after and he kind of looks wise so I fear we might have just taken out a beneficial mana society. Oh well here's a sequence trophy. Now we pretty much just had back to back to back or maybe even one more sequences straight of us just having assassination targets and doing that. I think this got bored for the developers though because the next sequence was nothing about assassinations at all. Oh no, quite the contrary. Instead, we just followed around Elise and protected her from evil people. I also learned how god awful bad and hard this game's gun combat is when you're not just auto doing it. Anyways, nothing really happened in this sequence aside from us saving Elise and securing that booty, so here's the trophy. The next sequence was then super short, but that doesn't mean nothing crazy happened because we got to uncover a poisoned brother mystery. Yes, one of our own was poisoned, and guess who found him? The girl. So was it her? No. No, it wasn't. No, you're f it was actually that dude from the prison way back in the beginning of the game that brought us to the Brotherhood and sort of started us down this path. And he actually confessed to doing it once we found him, and then we had a pretty epic battle on the rooftops. Sadly, this game's combat is below mid, so that kind of ruined the moment. A lot like when the girl you're going out with starts talking about her ex-boyfriend all the time. God damn, oh I'm gonna God. jump off. Oh yeah, after that fight, I also did have to do one of those very weird find the exit missions that this game occasionally gave us. I'm not sure why they felt the need to add this into the story, but sh something unique, I guess. It literally leads to nothing but then again, every Assassin's Creed game leads to nothing but another mid-sequel, so who cares? Here's the sequence's trophy. The next sequence returned again back to the traditional find guy and kill him. Before that though, we did get to chat it up with Napoleon as they say, and he kind of looks like a bitch. Yeah, when I imagined Napoleon, he always seemed more scary and not so babyish, but hey, it's probably a trick factor. The target we were after, by the way, was just some dude holed up on top of a fort, and the hardest part about the fight was just getting to the guy, which took me ages to do, and naturally, once I did, I killed the guy. We talked, he was sad, and here's the sequence's trophy. And the developers of Unity must have had a hard time on making this game because they again abandoned anything of importance within the story and just made us do an entire sequence chasing after that redhead again. But bro, trust me, no ginger is worth this much chivalry to almost die from. So yeah, we literally chased her through the damn streets of France on a hot air balloon. But your boy got a kiss out of it, so that's cool, I guess. I mean, sh we could have kissed a common woman and not had to chase a hot air balloon committing mass property damage on the way, but whatever, here's the sequence's trophy. Next sequence, we were trying to kill some dude, huh? However, once we got to him, he was prepared because, I mean, for the love of God, we are running around with a hood on in the middle of the day when everyone else has proper attire on. I've always personally thought that the whole idea of the hood and stuff was so stupid. Like, as an assassin, you try to blend in and not be seen, but doesn't the f costume just give it away immediately? Like, I can't be the only person who thinks you'd be better off just in a normal outfit. Just imagine if Elise was wearing a pretty dress and walks up to the dude all nice-like and then just stabs him secretly. End of game. Oh, that's why. Okay. I get it now. We need drama for this piece of poop. That's what I'm saying. All right, sorry for the sidetrack there. We got stopped by that guy and then had to defend Elise because she's here also. And yeah, we failed to kill the evil man, but that's the end of the sequence, so here's the trophy. Coming up on the final sequences now, they began to get quite hard with the assassination objectives, and this one had me after Latouche, who was one of the very first guys we had conflict with in this game and just haven't put him down yet for God knows what reason. Basically, though, I could not get close to him at all and just spent like 30 minutes running around randomly with guards chasing my ass until eventually I said, F this. I'm going in and yeah, he's dead. We won't talk about my stealth performance review because I would get kicked out of the Brotherhood right away. But a job done is a job done and here's the sequence's trophy. It is now the final mission with our final target named Jermaine. Getting to the guy is actually not hard at all and the game really confuses you with his location because it sort of hints that he's underground when he's just not and he's actually up in this tower. But once you get to him in the tower and tussle a bit, if you will, he then just teleports underground. So I guess they were right after him. Once finding his lair underground though, we are also joined by Elise and this is where the infamous final battle takes place. 
You basically just throw down smoke bombs, run up to him and stab him, and then repeat trying your best to not get hit by his sword that shoots out lightning, kind of. Anyways, we end up getting him super duper weak, but Elise rushes forward trying to be a hero and dies. Rest in peace. But we did get Jermaine after the dust was settled, and we then chatted it up. He also made fun of Elise's death, which is bad timing, man. At least wait half a day before making a death joke. That's just common courtesy. The credits of this game also let you fast forward, but it still took forever to get through, and if that isn't the cherry on top, I don't know what is. But once they did finish, here's the game's final story trophy. So now it's time to sort of, I don't even want to say clean up the game because there really isn't a cleanup. Unity has a load of grindy ass trophies that nobody really talks about. But I first chose to take down the collectible section because I don't really want to keep playing in story missions over and over and die inside more. So basically for the next like six hours or more, I got numerous trophies all scattered around from collecting collectibles and a few other stragglers, but mostly just from collectibles. This by the way took forever and not only because this game has like 400 collectibles, but because half of the chests or more are special red ones, which if you couldn't guess means they are locked and require you to lockpick them to open. And most are a level 3 difficulty of lock, and even with all of the lockpicking skills bought, they are still a bit of a challenge to open, and I definitely got at least one stomach ulcer from this agony. Please pray for me and my hospital bills. But once I was finished with the collectible trophies, I then decided to begin some of the rifts in this game. Rifts are this little mini game that can be replayed over and over, but it literally just has you run around and collect points to reach the point goal before you can escape and quote unquote save an assassin who was stuck in one. You get a trophy by the way from completing the bonus objective from three of them right here which isn't hard with all the easy ones. And obviously there is also a trophy from completing all the rifts total which I did not too long after and again that wasn't hard at all. I did have to play three more of them to reach 10 total saved assassins for another trophy which again is not hard it's just annoying I guess. And now it's that time of day to do the online trophies for Assassin's Creed Unity. So because I have no friends I first just played a co-op mission solo to get a trophy from beating a co-op mission in this game. Yup that is a thing. Who doesn't love co-op in a single player story game am I right? <laughs> Okay, nobody. Cool, same. So yeah, the online in this game. Let's chat about it real fast. It doesn't work. Yup, it's broken. Non-existent. Some people claim it still does occasionally, which might be true. But from my experience, even with other friends and people directly queuing up for the same mission sessions at the same time, it just never worked and I could not match Mac at all. Also, when you try to just even go online as they call it in this game, it just immediately gives you an error message. And there's two trophies directly needing another partner to get, which would then also mean that this game's platinum is not possible to get in 2024 with the servers being broken essentially. Realizing this now after I already poured like 30 hours into the game made me a bit upset to say the least, so I tried to just shrug that off and continue on with some trophies. I got 20 kills with long weapons, 20 kills with heavy weapons, and I also dropped the money pouch distraction tool 20 times in the city. With my last trophy gotten from renovating a social club or whatever the hell this is, I don't even know. And then I realized that I still have like 10 hours or more of missions to do in this game for trophies that I can't even get a platinum for. And I'm not gonna lie, I went a bit insane. I might have smashed a controller or something, but we don't talk about it. Best Buy is gonna get my business soon anyways. So this also technically means I have failed the challenge of Ubisoft games. So I guess now I gotta go get a tattoo of the Platinum Trophy. I really, really wanted to make a For Honor video, but I still haven't got the 100 deploy trophy, even though I've been doing it for forever. And also that game has so many trophies in modes that are completely dead. So it's sort of the same situation as this game's online trophies are in. Impossible territory, which is also why I just f***ing hate online trophies because they never work. So yeah, in conclusion, Assassin's Assassin's Creed has broken me and I simply cannot play any more of it even though it's technically not my fault but whatever I will get the tattoo and I also have a new challenge coming soon with the games that you guys have been asking me to do for ages and are also fun games in general that do work. I hate Ubisoft and I will never play another one of their games in my life. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon. Fuck.